Elder Blan Shaitan Chim, Bismillah, Man, Rahim, Yo, what's going on, everyone? Basically, yeah, there's a lot of things that I've been wondering about because that recently, one of my brethren has gone and married a buff thing, like a religious thing, and she's buff and religious, so she prays five times a day. She's very religious, and this guy is not religious at all, so he doesn't pray at all. So I'm thinking to myself, right, this guy is lucky for Allah giving him a very religious chick, because you know they say a religious is uh, more a religious woman is more precious than gold and silver. She cannot be measured with gold and silver, <laughs> silver, because she's far too precious for that, and it's very hard to find a religious woman. So basically, and then I see another brother. I don't want to say his name. Uh, I don't, even you, you all probably know him as well. This guy, yeah, he got a flipping chick, and he prays five times a day. He goes to Hajj. He does everything. And he ended up getting a chick, and he married a chick that this is Allah every day, and then doesn't pray and doesn't have a zero deen and wants to drink and everything. So it's like this world is mad. Like Pharaoh, his wife was uh, the best woman in the world, one of the four best women in the world, because the four best women in the world are Mary, Khadija, Fatima, and Asiya, the wife of Pharaoh. So Pharaoh was the worst person in the world, and his wife was the best person in the world. So I'm thinking to myself, how did my bridging? get the, bu the buffest and most religious chick and he's not even at all religious I was getting confused I was thinking that's not fair because the religious person should get the religious chick like the one that prays it's, that's how it should be in it because there's a hadith that says al mu'minin a kafat ba'dahum li ba'd the, the believing women and men are uh, they're like um, they fit for each other do you understand but at the same time I looked at the Quran the wife of Noah who when Noah's ark his wife was no good she got she got flooded uh, the wife of Lot the, the one that the gays tried to rape the angels, the gay area, Sodom in the Bible, his wife used to put the fire to say, look, there's people come and rape them. So she was cursed in the Quran. So I, I remembered that not everyone in this life who's gonna get a wife, she's gonna be religious like him. So you might be religious, but your wife is not religious at all. Totally opposite of you. Obviously, you're not, I'm not trying to say don't get a wife that's not religious. The best thing is to get, because if you say, if you choose the religion over the beauty, Allah will give you the beauty and the money. And if you choose the relig uh, religion, if you choose beauty over the religion, Allah will make you lose the beauty and make you lose money as well. So you should always try and get a woman that prays to God, frees God, you know, knows that there's a God that prays five times a day, you know, because like if you don't pray, it's very, how are you going to live with this girl? But you can still live with her and marry her. I'm not saying don't, but I'm just saying it's mad, this world, it's confusing. Like you get a waste man getting a buff thing, a, a buff thing getting a waste man, it's mad. So Alhamdulillah, I just wanted to mention that point, yeah. So at the end of the day, like I said, yeah, uh, the, the prayer of a person who's married and he prays is 70 times than a person who's not married. So imagine, yeah, the ones that are married now, their prayer is 70 times more powerful than our prayers. And they send hadith from Ahl Bayt, I'll, I'll, say it, I'll say it in English. It says a person that is sleeping who's married, he's just sleeping. It's like he's praying and fasting, praying all night and fasting all day. That's how much his rewards are. So it's just amazing. like. That's why I told the brothers out there, if, there's, if I can come and say something uh, constructive, say something beneficial to the brothers, I say, mashallah, the first thing, there's even a hadith that said, from the Ahlul they said, if the dead were to come back alive, the first thing they will do is get married. I think Ibn Abbas said that. The first thing they will do is get married. So why are we chilling here without a wife, bro? It's mad, like, and I know people that are married that live longer, are happier. Uh, people that are married, uh, they, they have uh, less uh, uh, health difficulties. Uh, there's so many benefits for being married. So, if you got money, if, uh, there's, there's a hadith that says if someone has money and is able to get married, but he doesn't get married, he's not one of us. Subhanallah. So, if you've got money, money now in your pocket, I suggest you go and get married with that money well, instead I of wait. Money, my brother. You ain't got money, mm -hmm. huh? What? It, it, is a transsexual woman in Islam? No, and bro, that trans thing, I forget no, that. No, no, I don't know, Akhi. I don't even know what's going on. I got confused. I, my angels got confused. Everyone got confused. <laughs> Everyone got confused. I don't know what was going on. Everyone got, I don't know what, I don't know what happened. Bro. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, the brothers out here, we're all trying, we're all trying, we're trying to, we're trying to do this the right way. You get me? We don't want to go to the wrong path. The path of shaitan is easy, isn't it? Shaitan, what does shaitan do? Yeah. Uh, Shaitan says, He made their, their evil actions, uh, su He made their evil actions good, like he puts glitter on it. So imagine saying evil, Shaitan will paint it for you that it's beautiful. Do you understand? To trick you. Do you understand? So like I said, yeah, I said to the brothers, if there's if you wanna if you wanna save yourself, get married, but it's half your deen, bro. 
That's my advice and don't do the drugs thing. Stop the drugs right now. Wallahi, man, them bare man died from drugs, bro. Because they can give you the wrong thing. You don't know. They put something inside it. Wallahi, you die straight away. For a second, it was a dangerous for you. Cause drugs are dangerous no, for you. Akhi, Akhi, drugs kill you more uh, uh, than Akhi, the cancer. Do you know Akhi, that? Akhi, let me tell you something. You know, you know that? What, which, fact. which drugs? Cancer drugs. When yeah. you cancer, they kill you more. You talking about than, cocaine or what? I'm talking, about, I'm talking about basically heroin. I'm talking about the synthetic weed. I'm talking about bare shit. You but don't know what... Cancer drugs kill you more than anything else. Cancer drugs? Prescription drugs kill you more than anything else. What? Prescription yeah, drugs? Yes. Like trendy drugs. I'm talking about... Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> prescription drugs, more. <laughs> all I'm saying, all I'm saying... Like trendy suppression. <laughs> all I'm saying, yeah, yeah, trendy <laughs> drugs. That's why I was telling her. That's why I was telling her. I felt sorry for her because she's taking them trendy drugs every day. I was trying to tell her, look, this is wrong. You get me? I, I feel sorry for her. Um, because, like, she's going through all this pain just for what? For what? God created her as a man. But at the end of the day, Coming back to the topic, like there is people that's got gin inside them. There's people that need exorcist. Have you seen the film The Exorcist? There's people that need the actual exorcist because they got gin deep inside them, bro. Exorcist is not a joke, bro. You need to come up to them and try to do Rook Aya, read Quran and them, try to get the gin out. But there's a gin inside them fucking them up. You don't know what the kind of gin they're dealing with. You need man like Modine to come down and take the gin out. You get me? Real talks, because I can do that, bro. I'll just read a couple of surahs. You get me? I put them on some prescription, some spiritual prescription. You get me? <laughs> Trust me, bro. I tell them that I make them come back on the. On the you, 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 yeah, that's my love. My mom, my mom will start. Inshallah, I make the art, I get married ASAP, but I can't even wait one day without getting married, bro. I go crazy, bro. I need to get a wife right now, G. Right now. Like, this, inshallah, this tonight, bro. Know me so fast. You know what I'm saying? Because, But what I'm trying to say, like I said, mashallah, yeah. There's people that are, called, why are they called Majnoon? What does Majnoon mean in Arabic? Crazy. But it comes from the word jinn. Because the jinn can take control of someone. So if you lot ain't seen the exorcist, subhanAllah, know that it's real blood. And them things there that we're seeing, they can be exorcist people. Like They can have jinn inside them. You've got, you've got to be, it's a spiritual warfare out here, bro. It's not just physical, like I said. But like I said, the man them that's real is real, innit? The man that's fake is fake. You know that, innit? But mashallah, Allah make all the people that has good Mr. Rax TV. Mr. Rax TV, what? Uh, mm -hmm. How much uh, minutes we got left, Mr. Rax? As long as you want. Oh, subhanAllah, Mr. Rax going no, like that, yeah? Limited, All right, basically, what I wanted to say, like, to wrap this up, really, because I know man them is uh, thinking, oh, Modin talks too much. But when I'm talking, I'm talking real talks, but you ain't gonna hear this on TV, bruv. You get me? Only Even the Holy that. Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you read to read about the stories, the history, even like like how the, there was one time he was eating and a woman and he was sitting on the floor eating and the woman said to him why are you sitting like a slave to the prophet muhammad he said is there more of a slave to allah than me i'm the biggest slave to allah so he was a holy prophet the greatest man in the world but he was sitting on the floor eat like a, with the humble people so then she said to him give me some of your food so he broke some of her food of his food and she said no 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 give me the food that's in your mouth and then he gave it to her from his he gave it gave it to her and they said the sahaba from that day she ate that food she didn't become ill till she died she was healthy you understand so there's so many stories about holy prophet muhammad وسلم, and how humble he was how how because well, at the end of the day the, the angel gabriel came down to him came down to the prophet muhammad many times and he said would you like allah to give you a mountain of gold would you like this would you like that the prophet muhammad was humble yeah jesus exactly there's i've got so many stories about jesus and the prophet and, and all that but it's too long to say on here but i can but i don't know if mr rex like we got more d okay with the, with the wig on yeah yeah, big up, big up. We got hey, listen. Um, uh, basically, the angel Gabriel said, came to the Prophet Muhammad once, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Wa sallam. This is narrated from the Ahlul Bayt. And then the angel Gabriel, his face was changed. Like when he comes to the Prophet in the form of a man, he's, he looked different. So the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "What's wrong, angel Gabriel?" So um, the angel Gabriel uh, said, said to to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that the Allah uh, done the, opened the gates for hell. I saw it. He goes, he made the hellfire 1,000 years, he heated it until it became red. Then he heated it 1,000 years until it became red. Then he heated it 1,000 years until it became black. And then it will stay black and dark all throughout eternity. And no one will ever, and, 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 and he said, if a little tiny atom, a uh, head of a pin dropped from hell onto this earth, the whole earth will get burnt. And he was saying about hell so much that the prophet started crying and angel Gabriel started crying. So these are all hadiths I'm bringing from the Ahl al-Bayt and, 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 and Imam Ali and, and it describes hell. And if you knew about hell, you wouldn't be laughing. Even after the Prophet came back from Mi'raj, he never laughed after that day when he saw hellfire. 
So there's so many hadiths about hell. That's why we should be telling people about hellfire. We should be telling people about the, 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 the punishments of the grave, the punishments of hell. That's why when you tell people that, they'll stop, they'll think twice before they do a sin. Do you understand? Tell Sophia that. And, and, yeah, inshallah, I'll tell her. And, uh, she blocked me, bro. She, did, she doesn't want to know. She doesn't want to know, bro. As soon as I talked to her about Deen, about Islam, she blocked me straight away. I'll be honest with you. Yeah, but what I'm trying to say, and then uh, Allah said to the angel Gabriel that I have not, I have protected you and the Prophet Muhammad from sinning, so you will not be punished. Allah has protected them from doing any sins. So at the end of the day, so many hadiths about hell. If you read it, when the about how you go, man, you won't sleep at night. It's so scary. So like, I'm, I'm, I'm just telling the brothers out here because they think it's a joke. We can die tomorrow, we could die tonight. So if we die and we haven't done nothing for our next life, then what's going to happen? Do you understand? The prophet, when he used to pray, he used to cry so much. <clears throat> Imagine his prayer. And he was the most greatest man. He didn't need to do that, but he used to do that to be humble to Allah. How many of us cry in our prayer? How many of us cry? Because like, our hearts are hardened because of our sins and stuff. I'm not trying to say I'm a good person or better than anyone, but I'm just here to advise the brothers. Because that's what, what my job is as a Muslim, to advise. Because they, they said the, the, the best action is to advise. Give advice. Not to just keep your knowledge and, and stay silent. No, advice. Advice as much people as possible. Because when this, because one of the, when, when the time of the Prophet, so look, when it's raining, the du'a is Mr. Jab. Allahumma give me a buff wife with a big booty. Ya Allah, Allahumma salli ala yeah, a buff wife with a big booty, mashallah. Yeah, it's a real booty. Yeah, but what I'm saying, yeah, <laughs> I'm joking. Any wife, I don't care if she's a big booty or not, uh -oh. as long as she's religious, bro. She if she's religious, down. that is yeah, the biggest. Yeah, sure they said if someone has been given a religious wife, <laughs> he has been given the best of this world and the next. Imagine you got a religious wife, bro. You're the luckiest person in the world, in the whole world, bro. So imagine, Ya Allah, give me a religious wife. I don't care how she looks, as long as she's religious, mashallah. You get me? So at the end of the day, mashallah, the brothers out here, we know we're, we're all here trying to, we're all fighting our battles, we're all fighting our demons, we all got jinns around us, Allah Shaitan al you get me? Everyone else that's going to go home is going to have mad thoughts from Shaitan and that, but it's, it's whether you can beat Shaitan and be stronger, yeah. that's, that, that's, that's the way bro, Allah Shaitan al you get me? Man, we're, we're all going to be in our grave alone bro, we're all going to be alone bro, There's not going, no one's coming with us, it's a dark grave bro, you get me? But mashallah, all the brothers out there that's listening, taking, give da'wah, Stay unity. I want to talk about unity as well. I don't want to bore Mr. Right. There's so many other, there's hundreds of hadiths. Like if I talk to you about them, but I can't be, yeah, I just want to say unity. Everyone promote unity, promote peace and love. I'm going to cut now. But like I said, peace, love and unity is the most important thing. And uh, inshallah, all the brothers out there, make dua for me and, make, and may Allah make the haq victorious. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa Muhammad. Assalamu alaikum.